Tribute there to the fabulous Sting. <laughs> oh, that's better out than in. Welcome back. Um, boys and girls, listen to this and decide. Is it a real person or a cartoon character? My darling, I need you to call my own. And never do wrong To hold in mind Your little hand I'll know too soon That all is so grand Fingers on buzzers, please, oh, boys and girls Name the group uh, You were singing it, Sandy, weren't you? Any I guesses? was just getting oh, ready well, to well, 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 I was going to ask you pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Like the that. original question was, are they cartoon characters or real? And I, yes. I'll go for real. I'll give you one point for that. Thank you. The, the name of the group was the Diamonds, in fact. That's it? Yes, you see, the Diamonds, yes. <laughs> Kathy, your specialist subject is classical music. Please identify these three concertos. <laughs> Mendelssohn concerto in E minor, the first yep. movement, I think. Yep. And the second one was um, the Brahms concerto, yep. um, and the last one was the Tchaikovsky. Okay, two points. Could you give the opus numbers of those concertos? Oh God. Um, I don't know the Mendelssohn, but I think the Brahms is opus 77. That's right. And Tchaikovsky, opus 35. I'll give you two points for that. Yes, the other one was opus 64. Oh. And finally, which one was deemed unplayable when it was written? Well, they're all fairly unplayable. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I think it was the, the Tchaikovsky. It was, absolutely yeah. right. Six full points. Well done. Good. Tony, your specialist subject is musicals. You will hear the intros from three well-known hit musicals. Could you name the song and name the musical? <laughs> One. It was um, that was any dream will do. Uh, For one point, coming from the uh, uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Another point. And I reckon the other ones were Andrew Lloyd Webber ones as well. No but, points for that. But uh, goodness knows. Well, I'll just guess it. Uh, do you want a minute? I reckon I'll go for Evita then. For another point, what was the song from Evita? Don't have the faintest idea. It was Oh What a Circus. Right. And the last one. The last one. Um, I'll just name another Andrew Lloyd Webber. All musical. right. Um, Starlight Express. Yes, absolutely right. For one oh. point. <laughs> <laughs> and the song was. Starlight Express. Yes, that's right. That's all right. Six full points. Well done. Uh, Sandy, your specialist chosen subject is Bert Bacharach. You're going to hear three songs, and I'd like you to name the artist and the title of the song. And if the way I hold you can compare to his grace, like a summer rose. Da, 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 da. 
Uh, yeah, got it. Okay. Would you like to share them? Yes. <laughs> the Walker Bros. Yeah. Would make it easy on yourself. Two points. Uh, rusty Springboard. Oh. <laughs> with Don't Know What to Do With Myself. Uh, two points. And Bobby Gentry with I'll Never Fall In Love Again. Six full points, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Excellent. And now it's time for our tribute to Joseph Cooper, the legendary music quiz host who used to ask his guests to identify a piece of music purely by listening to the rhythmic clatter of his fingers over a dummy keyboard. But instead of a dummy keyboard, Richard, what have we got? A plummy keyboard. And what does that mean then? Well, this plummy keyboard doesn't play musical notes. It's just a lot of plummy voices at random, a bit like royal family, really. And uh, they sound a bit like this. Which member of the royal family is that? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was Prince Edward. Is it? Right. <laughs> uh, or, or perhaps... <laughs> and I'm going to play you a very well-known classical theme on the plummy keyboard, so listen to this. Fingers on buzzers. Fingers on buzzers. Sandy. Yes, OK, so a point for Sandy for singing it. But, Cathy, you said it was... Swan Lake. Okay. Swan Lake, so one point each. Very good. Good, Thanks. excellent. Right, now, the penultimate stage. <laughs> we see the scores are in third place, but only just with 13 points is Cathy. But in joint first place, both with 17 points, are Tony and Sandy. Right, enough of this pussy putting around. I want to see you slaughter each other in the final quickfire. Buzz around, two points for a correct answer. One point taken away for an incorrect one. Here we go. Who had a hit in 1964 with the Rolling Stones song As Tears Go By? Oh. Sandy. Gotcha. Marianne Faithful. Yes, two points. The opera Cavaliera Rasticana has one or two or three acts. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> two. No, one point what? away. It's one act. Name the Liverpool club where the Beatles first appeared. <laughs> Tony. The Cavern, two points. Art Farmer played the flugelhorn. True or false? True. True. I think that was uh, Cathy. Mm. Cathy, what's your answer? True. True, it is true. And he played the trumpet as well. Two points. Who were Gladys Knight's backing group? The Tony. Pips. The Pips, two points. What is stiff and wiry and can give you a brush up? <laughs> Tony. Sandy Shore, if you sat next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking one point away for being facetious. Poor old Sandy. No, the answer is a wire drumstick. What were Schumann's papillons? Cathy. A set of piano pieces. Yes, butterflies. Twelve short piano pieces. Two points. Whose manager was Colonel Tom Parker? Sandy. Elvis. Two points. In which film did Elvis sing Can't Help Falling in Love? Blue Hawaii. Sandy. Blue Hawaii. Two points. How many operas did Bizet write? Was it one? Ah, no. Oh, oh no. Ah, and that noise, Whistling Jack Smith, means it's the end of the show and we see in third place but only just with 16 points is Cathy in second place with 20 is Tony but this week's winner with 23 points is Sandy Shaw oh, I love to Right, well, we're just going to give Sandy some Valium. And uh, in the meantime, it's goodbye from the music game. And so goodbye from Cathy, from Tony, from a very excited Sandy, <laughs> from Dr. Richard Branch, and from me, Tony Slattery. Till next time, bye! <laughs>